all right what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's me danielle aka stardust whatever you resonate with calling with calling me is cool with me but um i just figured i'd do a mystery reading just reading what i see a general reading and i like reading this way because i don't feel so much pressure you know um with the pick of cards but i feel like they're super accurate though for some weird reason but let me get right into this energy um i'm getting right here that maybe in the mind i feel like a lot a lot of people may be having this energy because i feel like this is a collective right reading so this is collective energy here I feel like someone is going through some type of transformation here. Someone could be getting married. I definitely feel like somebody is going through something with the uh, court system or legal system here. But I definitely feel like this is maybe somebody getting married here. Maybe two sides, um, two parties are trying to come together and balance something out here. These are opposite energies too. Um, they could look similar, these energies here, but they're opposites. Um, these two energies are trying to balance something out here. I feel like a lot of truth is being uh, shared, a lot of clarity, a lot of fairness, um, a lot of words, communication is being shared between these two here. But I feel like maybe someone is trying to balance out these energies. Um, I definitely feel like in the spirit, someone is trying to see something from a different perspective. I was getting that somebody was getting some a, a lot of anxiety. Let me slow down because there's a lot here. I was seeing that maybe someone was driving fast as well maybe someone needs to slow down here um i definitely feel like maybe somebody is seeing something from a different perspective maybe i'm getting this this i kept getting this energy too about like maybe a fuck boy reflecting on himself like this could even be a fuck girl you know someone that is you know have multiple partners multiple energies here and maybe they are get having a lot of anxiety a lot of worry or about this maybe their spirit is leading them to do this type of reflecting here I feel like somebody's having a lot of anxiety too about maybe the legal system. Someone could be worried about the government, uh, seeing the government from a different perspective as well. Um, Especially if you're like in traffic and it's like slow moving traffic, just try to be patient, try to be calm here. I see maybe somebody like rushing to their child here. I definitely feel like somebody's wish here is to have a happy family, have a happy home, have a stable relationship here. I feel like somebody is uh, in the shadow. I definitely see this energy of somebody getting proposed to, someone getting this uh, new financial abundance here. I feel like somebody wants to know if you're just settling here. But uh, just know that the ancestors, your spirit guides, have heard your prayers. And especially if you've been praying for extra finances, maybe some type of uh, relationship with your family here, some type of partnership or balance here. Maybe too, I see maybe somebody wishing for their child to get into college or go to a certain school here. But someone definitely has a crush on someone here. I feel like somebody is manifesting a new job here. Some type of new financial abundance as well. Maybe something's been taking a while to come in. You could be a, um, you could be a Gemini. You could be a Pisces here. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, heavy energy. Yeah, I see somebody possibly like trying to take a break or needing to take a break from maybe smoking, drinking as well.
hopefully this isn't like, you know, maybe a, the legal system not making you smoke or drink. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like someone is definitely super creative here. Maybe someone has a lot of new ideas that they want to take action on here. I want to get some channel, um, well, I've been getting channel messages, but I want to kind of, like, tap into this energy here. Yeah, I was getting this stop and go energy here. I don't know if this is someone in traffic, <laughs> but someone could definitely be waiting for something here to happen in the future. Maybe with some type of cancer energy, this soulmate energy here. Yeah, someone is having some type of harmony um, within their connection. I feel like there's definitely been passion ignited. Someone has definitely ignited somebody's passion here. Someone could be definitely, I keep getting, I don't know if this is this uh, father-daughter dynamic or this, maybe this guy could be younger than this girl here. Yeah, someone's hoping for a spiritual union, but I'm definitely getting this energy of maybe somebody communicating about this. Maybe somebody communicating about how they want a partnership or relationship here. Um, I definitely feel like uh, there's a lot of communication happening here. When it comes to like maybe somebody communicating about their foundation and their achievements or the things that they want to achieve. But yeah, this is just a warm up, guys. We're only seven minutes in, so bear with me. Um, I'm going to try to channel these next messages here. But heavy Ace of Pentacles energy here. Like, I feel like either choice you decide whatever especially if you're trying to make a choice or a decision on like a partnership or something that's going to be long term a new home a new car i feel like uh either way like these are both good options here someone is manifesting some type of new beginning here and i feel like you're going to get it someone is definitely um very powerful when it comes to creating something here Someone has all the tools that they would need to bring in this type of abundance here. Yeah, you could be partner, partnering, collaborating here with maybe a partner. Or this could be a husband or a lover here. Someone has a lot of ideas. Someone thinks a lot here. But just be calm here. You know, use your emotions here. Definitely put your emotions behind whatever you're doing here. Especially if you come off really detached emotionally detached and just straight logical you may, may be smart and really clear head and have a lot of ideas you definitely could be like a libra gemini or aquarius um just be patient here but know that your creativity could be the key to your success here yeah every thought is creative Every thought that you possibly have is really probably recre real creative. I listen to music in my ear, and I literally just heard Kendrick say, every thought is creative right after I said that. Uh, that the creativity. I was getting this energy. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. But um, right after I said your creativity is the key to your success, you should use it. You know, um, I heard Kendrick's in my ear say... Um, you know um every thought is creative but yeah someone is definitely jealous and envious of your material harvest someone can be uh communicating um in a jealous manner in an envious way someone could be lying as well being deceptive with their communication maybe about money here let's see
But um, I definitely feel like in the mind, someone is thinking about uh, the choices and decisions that they have to make, all the movement that they have to make, especially when it comes to like uh, financial and material changes. If you've been going through financial changes here, you have a lot of choices to make. These could, could be really good choices. <laughs> you know, these are not bad problems to have, if, especially if you're thinking about like, okay, now where am I going to move? What am where am I going to get married at? Where how what kind of garden do I want? You know, uh, where do I want to travel to? Someone could be jealous of this type of energy here. Um, in the heart, I definitely feel like somebody is having some type of accelerated motion here. Someone could be moving fast here in their relationship. Someone could be jealous of that as well, especially if your partnership just started and you guys are already moving in with each other, picking out places. Uh, looking at cars and homes and things like that here. Here that is. Someone's having a lot of anxiety in their spirit here. It's the second time this energy came out with a different deck in the same position. Um, someone's having a lot of anxiety about someone's material and uh, material harvest. Someone's uh, abundance here. This, uh, some type of cycle could be coming to an end or completing here. And this could be giving someone some type of anxiety this this uh this it's either this king of cups that could be jealous or envious or deceptive and envious someone could be trying to send this energy as well telepathically yeah someone could feed on unhappiness you know dark energies feed on unhappiness especially if someone's going through like a rebirth and a transformation i feel like in the heart space um yeah, someone is having faith. Someone is maybe wishing on a star and these things are happening quickly here. Especially if you're making wishes from your heart passionately here, intuitively, telepathically. I feel like these are accelerated, you know, uh, fast moving energies here. Um, Someone's definitely having faith in, in the future as well. Someone is trying to take action and be creative here and passionate, you know, when it comes to the future. Someone's looking forward to the future. Someone maybe uh, probably wants to, like, sacrifice everything and possibly travel here. But if you want to do that uh, energy, if you want to just sacrifice something and travel, I feel like you have to have faith. You have to make this a wish of yours. Also, too, I feel like someone could be wanting to sacrifice a trip as well or an adventure. I feel like someone is, um, this candle smells fantastic. <laughs> I feel like, um, Someone is having a lot of, you know, uh, thinking about having a lot of nostalgia. This person is thinking about their partnerships here. Six. Someone's thinking about, you know, having a lot of nostalgia. Someone's reminiscing. You know, someone could be trying to come out of this energy, too, as well as reminiscing, having a lot of nostalgia. They're trying to come out of this energy so they can make choices and decisions and move away from some type of energy here that's maybe keeping them stuck and stagnant. I'm newsy, so let's see what's going on. I even see someone like setting off fireworks or something here. Someone's like pocket watching, bro. I swear. The Queen of Cups, dude. Like this, this, this King or Queen of Cups is jealous here. Or there, if you're the King or Queen of Cups, let me read this both ways. If you are a King or a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, someone could be jealous of you. Your intuition, you know. Uh, I just heard your style, your creativity, your emotions, your uh, your intuition here. Or this could be a water sign, you know, having this 
anxiety and worry about your material and spiritual prosperity as well. Good energy and I'm dropping the okay. Everybody had it for a while, but I know for sure. I'm getting into conscious and rotation. Mm. I'll get you from a distance and go do it on the top of my name for a show. It's crazy that, like, I be telling ladies all the time, especially if you're on your grind and shit, or, like, this could even be someone you dated, you know, that can be jealous or envious of you, you know? Especially if it's a man, girls. Like, don't be surprised that a man could be jealous of your, you know, your material harvest, the the way that you move. But this could be, you know, a man as well. Jealous of another man here, just pocket watching him, things like that. But in the mind, I definitely feel like this King of Pentacles here. I'm getting King of Pentacles and I'm getting a little air sign energy, but not too much. Not too much, no. Um, but yeah, someone could be reminiscing here, having a lot of nostalgia, like I said. You know, thinking about their finances, especially if this person has a lot of money, like I said. I would like to have this problem, like I really would. It's, <laughs> If you have all this money and you're literally sitting there thinking about, you know, the past, your dogs, you know, um, your your homes, traveling here, what door to go through, I would like to have this. Yeah, I heard like, wait till I get my money right, then you can't tell me nothing right. Yeah, someone could be in this energy, you know, but I'm definitely feeling like someone could be having anxiety or worry about maybe offering someone material harvest or receiving some type of material harvest. I feel like um, yeah, if you are like communicating with someone about like reuniting or some type of soulmate relationship someone could be jealous of this or like I said this could be this person that you're maybe reuniting with or celebrating with or something here this person could be the deceptive or lying to something I'm, I'm gonna get into it like let's see I feel like someone definitely has a lot of fear a lot of secrets here maybe somebody is afraid to communicate here Yeah, express your truth, you know, have a heart to heart conversation about this. And this is especially if this is somebody that you think that you used to have like a spiritual connection with. Major transformation is definitely coming. Um, I feel like someone is definitely regretting the things that they've said. Yeah, someone could be codependent on someone and just, you know, secretly also envious of this person as well. But I'm going to get some oracle cards, guys, and like see what I get here. I definitely get this energy of somebody like, you know, maybe crying here, um, making wishes as well from their heart. But I definitely feel like your spirit guides, your ancestors, they hear your prayers here. You're definitely protected here. I definitely see someone cutting their hair here in the future, maybe. This is crazy, though. I'm looking for my juicy juice. <laughs> I don't understand why people do that. Like, just watch your own fucking plate. Your own plate of food is getting cold while you're sitting there watching someone else eat. Like, it's crazy to me. Especially your grown ass man, dude. Like, really? What's going on with people? 
We all have the same amount of hours in a day. <laughs> just wants to jump out i feel like someone definitely is trying to have some type of spiritual strength after some type of heartache and loss um someone has definitely been having a lot of anxiety a lot of worry in their heart i mean I, this could be happening in their heart space also and their spiritual um especially if this has something to do with some type of partnership and alliance that's going uh you know astray maybe or you know maybe this partnership and this um this alliance you guys are having obstacles and challenge here there's heartache and loss and some type of partnership and loss and maybe someone just needs to have some type of spiritual strength be patient with these obstacles and challenges that you're going through here um if you're having obstacles and challenges in a partnership or allow uh, alliance here just be patient listen sometimes you just have to go through some type of change and transformation and you know have some type of spiritual strength here don't be afraid you know i man listen i just be out here sometimes <laughs> i really don't like i sometimes i'm really uh what is it called like sometimes i just make impulsive decisions you know and I just go off of how I'm feeling at that moment and I deal with this shit later, you know? And sometimes you just gotta think about yourself first and, and nobody else. And but yeah, and just you just be strong spiritually here, you know. But be patient. Especially if there's some type of uh challenges happening here with your uh, partnerships. I feel like God is like, you know, helping out in this situation here. So, um, okay. My phone was ringing in the middle of the recording. But, um, yeah, I feel like somebody is getting some type of clarity, doing some type of research here. Um, someone could be getting a lot of downloads, a lot of ideas here as well. Maybe they're reading these type of things, getting spiritual uh, wisdom here. If you're reading certain books, you could be getting a lot of ideas or a lot of knowledge or a lot of spiritual strength. Taking a leap of faith on your spirituality here. Someone is um, just taking a leap of faith after some type of spiritual loss here. Maybe someone is gaining some type of spiritual strength as well after this uh, heartache and loss. Someone has options. Someone is communicating with all their options. They're looking at their options, their partnerships and alliances. Someone is looking for their options here trying to make a decision or a choice someone's trying to take a leap of faith and uh go out for their options here you know someone could be possibly noticing their options and going after it here be patient with your creativity with your passions with the things that you want to do take action on be patient i feel like these things are going to grow and manifest slowly here but I feel like someone has a lot of creative, passionate ideas that also, you know, might be it's slow to take off. But when they grow, they're going to be strong rooted things, you know. But yeah, look forward to the future here. Someone could be looking for uh, different forms of like, you know, uh, traveling here, looking at their options or uh, maybe where they want to travel to as well. Someone want to take a want to take a leap of faith and, you know, um, someone's definitely having a lot of nostalgia here, reminiscing on the things that they can do here. But yeah, we, if you're learning new things as far as like researching about spirituality 
and you're gaining some type of spiritual strength through these things try meditating also try chanting you could be chanting your favorite affirmation you could be chanting like your favorite quote you know things like that just saying positive things and take deep breaths while you're meditating and chanting these things here you know uh especially after you know you uh had some type of heartache and loss and you've taken a leap of faith you know just breathe in and just let it all go into the universe here you know, um, you could need some rest as well. So someone could definitely need to get a health checkup, especially if it has something to do with your breathing as well. Maybe someone's nose as well. Someone could be having issues with their nose and their breathing. Maybe chanting and deep breathing is going to help here. And also do a, you know, a health checkup. This doesn't even have to go mean going to the doctor. This could just mean do like a mental and spiritual and emotional health checkup on your partnerships and your alliances, your friends, your family, the people that you collaborate with, the people that you partner with, the people that you see every day. And, and, cause you never know who's going through some type of heartache and loss as well, but do a health checkup on these people here. Um, like I said, your grandparents, your people that you love, people that you haven't seen, your family, you know, you got a lot of people here. Do health checkups on them, you know, make sure they're getting, going to the health, uh, getting, going to the doctor and things like that. But do mental health checkups, um, on your partnerships and your alliances and also communicate, um, Communicate healthy in a healthy way. Try to communicate in a healthy way with your partnerships and your alliances here. But yes, yeah, someone can definitely be needing to go get a health checkup too on their eyes as well. Yeah, and this mental health checkup too can involve you cleaning your space as well deep breathing as well especially if you've been having uh trouble breathing maybe it could be the dust and things around your house as well clean your space someone could be having obstacles and challenges when it comes to like maybe cleaning their windows maybe they're too big they can't reach or it's too high up or something here Someone could be getting like a van clean or some type of car here. I see someone like maybe scared to like maybe or they're cleaning their basement or someone needs to clean their basement here. But yeah, someone could be building their strength, not just building their strength by working out. Someone could be building their strength uh, spiritually here. Especially if you're doing like beauty regimens and beauty rituals on yourself. Make sure you're taking all those things into consideration here. I feel like if you make an altar here, be patient with yourself. Make an altar, you know, light some candles, pray, get some rest here, and be creative when making your altar. You know, hang up photos of your ancestors, light some candles, try aromatherapy as well. Put some crystals out. Especially if you draw, you're an artist, you know, put those things out, especially if they have some type of significance here. I definitely see someone maybe possibly getting their feet done here or their nails done. This could even be someone going to like the dermatologist or seeing like some type of back doctor. Maybe someone needs to see some, somebody for their back and their uh, breathing as well. Yeah, but be passionate and have hope. Just try to have a lot of faith in everything that you do here. Um, use your intuition here when it comes to um, who your spiritual partner is. Just have hope. Have hope in your spiritual connection if that's what you were wondering about right now. And rest. Rest and retreat. Try to get some rest here. 
and 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 know that uh in life, you know, things just require you using a lot of wisdom. And wisdom comes at any given random moment. You never know when you're going to be smacked with some level of wisdom here, um, intuitively or on the physical. But um, I hope this resonated with you guys. And um, if you just got your hair braided, it looks really nice, too. <laughs> I hope this resonated. And... Um, Check out my future readings and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, hit me up at rebelrockminerals at gmail.com. Or you can slide in my DM on Instagram at one diva beauty, the number one diva beauty, all one word. So peace, guys. Until next time.